Good morning, everybody, and this is your DAX day trade setups for today. So I want to start off on the weekly just to, to highlight what we're seeing here. We've got the 155 right in front of us here. You can see there it is there. So um, what we're looking for is the level to the left, and I'm going to get it in over there. So that's kind of the area that we are looking at at the moment. You can see we are sort of flirting with what's going on here. Looking like a pretty clear flag break at the moment. Obviously, we want to see a retest of that break before we start getting too excited about it. And being the weekly, that's going to be a bit of a, a wait for that to happen. So you can see that weekly level above us. It's kind of what we are looking to test. You can see there are the tails that line up with that and uh, quite a bit of uh, interaction there. So I suspect we're still moving to that, but we do see a bit of a, a flag forming here, and uh, I'll get it to you now on a lower time frame. So if you look at this on the three hour, there's the top of the flag. Oh, that's not gonna work. Give me a sec. It helps when you click the right buttons, right? So um, there is the bottom of the flag. There it is there. Okay. Could also You could also see that as a channel. I mean, flag channel doesn't really matter. But uh, typical price action for the DAX. Strong move up last week, and then we sort of fizzle out into a channel. Um, so this channel can go on for quite some time, um, or alternatively, it tends to, to break and come back and test. So what the test that I'd be looking for is this area here, uh, which is down at 13.438. Right, trend is up. No debate about that. It's been up for, uh, basically it was confirmed here three weeks ago or three and a half weeks ago. And uh, we are now sort of uh, over, overbought at the moment on the oscillators. So don't really want to be chasing longs up there. Even though we are in an uptrend, I'm looking for a better price and that better price is lower down. So a couple of things we need to pay attention to. First things first. We have this area that was tested yesterday and you can see Europe has been a typical thing. Europe runs and then when the USA comes online then it's sort of just all over the place and you can see the same thing happened last night. So right now if you look at this bottom trend line and you look at that trend line there, horizontal, that looks like a flat a flat bottom triangle, or flat top triangle, should I rather say. So you see there's the top of the triangle, there's the bottom. So that is consolidation structure. Trend is up. I'm looking for a retest of um, structure for an opportunity to buy. Now, I don't really want to hold it in the, Europe, in the US session, and you can see why. So for me, Let's use another level down here. This is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for 13.613 or alternatively 13.594. Looking for a pullback into that area. Decent area for the stop at the swing low uh, for a move to the upside. Uh, that is kind of what I'm looking for in the DAX. The, the second thing that could actually happen and DAX close was somewhere in this area, so we're hovering in this area. So the second thing that could happen is that is our opening range. Break this swing high here to the upside. I'm looking for a long, and my stop will be below this range. So um, that's kind of uh, the view that I've got at the moment. Just wait for this to form. So you need to wait for. Uh, you can either you can either wait for um, the the one hour of pre market trading when the exchange is actually open, which uh, is nine o'clock uh, my time at the moment, and the market actually opens at ten. That's GMT plus two, so you can wait for for that first hour to com to finish and then take it, which works out. Or you now you can use the, the previous sort of from midnight to the point that the pre market opens as your range. Both of them typically work out, um, but I would just wait for structure. You know, you're looking for volumes and you're looking for structure. So this area up here, 13676, break above that. Obviously, that breaks the previous high. Then you know, you're looking for the long. I wouldn't hold on to the long because as soon as the the USA starts to wake up, 
you're going to see this kind of volatility happen um, again today. So, um, yeah, that's kind of my view at the moment. If we start dropping below this swing low from last night, uh, what is that? That is, let me just get there. That is at 13,561. If we start dropping below that, I'd want to see a pullback and a retest of uh, of this area. Probably either 13,600 or 13,561. Uh, see a retest of that, then I would expect to move to the downside here of 13,466. But that would be another opportunity to buy, as far as I'm concerned. That would be a retest of the the weekly trend line. And uh, it would also still be in an upward trend on the hour if you look at that. Okay, so when you see the moving averages this strong and pointing up like this, kind of silly to try and uh, bet against it. So uh, you're looking for opportunities to buy. That's pretty much what it is. Anyway, hope that helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.